very few of us. My name is Suraj. I'm with the Department of African and African American Studies. I'm also in South Africa, uh, but I'm finishing my doctoral studies there. Um, um, I will I will try to give some some anecdotal experiences so it becomes relevant to our discussion. Um, very few um, among us uh, transcend into the boundaries of educational citadels in overseas institutions, institutions of knowledge. So my presence here is, is very symbolic um, and it, it, it refers to the, to the struggle of, of other Dalit activists uh, back home. Um, so uh, with, with that said, um, I would like to uh, uh, present myself as a, as a, as a resistance, as a, as a solidarity towards the group from, 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 from this space that I have given the opportunity. So please excuse me for, for having this, but this is our whole struggle about. It says, cast out cast. My heart goes with the 23 suicides that have been taking places, that have been taking place in, in India uh, of Dalit students. Um, uh, the, the gendered aspect of Rohit's suicide comes to the fore. The single mother story is, 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 is heart-wrenching. And one turns into tears after going through the family histories. But this is not a unique one. It belongs to all of us, most of us. Uh, education is the only opportunity we foresee as a momentum towards liberation. This is now becoming a space that is investigating the deserving potential of students, incidentally Dalit students. Why a Dalit child with books in hand is seen as a threat? Perhaps the popular narrative is used to the optics of Dalit child being used as a form to instigate communal and mob violence, as it continues to happen. Incident of Gujarat, Babri Massacre, is evident. Perhaps their gaze, to speak of Morley Ponti's gaze, which infuses with social and cultural gazes, is convinced about a Dalit and tribal child being born on the street as a beggar, or on the farms as a serf, or on the rail construction sites as an unpaid labor, or as a kiln worker as a child slave. An epistemological cruelty has to be inquired. The phenomenon of cultural capital has to be broadened, and a technical apprehension of the profane, the ritual of profanity within the Indian social, so-called sacred spaces, has to be problematized. The dirty chamars, the churas, the bhangis, the mahars, the malas, madigas, they constitute the dilemma of public and private relativism. There is a privileged caste for a destructive voyeurism, as we have seen with regard to the story of Rohit that followed to his mom. The vulgarity seems to be a fashionable, almost a ritual of performance, much like a performative of self, to speak of Judith Butler, on the territorial insignificance of human bodies. Cast as a reserve labor force for the Indian bourgeoisie, a feudally dominating tribe, has confirmed his existence on the equanimity of Dalit and tribals. Now that the children of former serfs are coming out to stand in similar position as their children, it is becoming unacceptable. It is, it is receiving in a vehement opposition. The Dalit child in the university spaces with critical epistemological inquiry is more dangerous, even more when he or she possesses enigmatic potential to offer cosmic and metaphysical doubts. So it was a good example of this. Universities are functioning as a disciplining enterprise, Meena Kanda Swami in, in her op-ed in the Hindu road. To broadly speak in Foucauldian sense, the idea of mental hospital and the prison system, the institution disciplinaire, institution of disciplines, is what institute of education in India is constituting. Why is a Dalit life defensible? Why Dalit travel, a quarter of the populace, gets ignored in the important socio-cultural spaces and no one feels bothered about it? The statistics say it all. In the Hyderabad University itself, there were two suicides. Nine suicides in the Hyderabad city itself. Fourteen suicides in northern India. After the suicide, 29 academics 
in Hyderabad city proposed a suggestion to the university in that locale to address these issues. The High Court took cognizance of it and directed the universities to perform. But nothing was taken seriously. If it would have, probably it would have avoided. So now, thematically testing this experience of Dalit students is not different to that of African American students and other marginalized student groups across elite knowledge spaces. This is why we want to make this struggle a global struggle and make our presence felt in an ongoing planetary system of justice. The Brahminical dictionaries do not have reverence towards women, especially the women of outcaste, the tribal, the most vulnerable. This incident gives us doubts, and I'm, and I'm critical about the Ambedkarite as well as leftist politics, because they couldn't even gather a support, a unified support, when Rohit was sleeping on the streets before giving up his life. Contemporary casteist India is a den of misogynists, romanticizing the medieval era Indian society. This is further leading to the regeneration of fascist nationalists. And now, with Prime Minister trying to become Foreign Minister, attempting to create an international consensus on the proclamations of Indian domestic policies, by touring the world, the PM and his staff have understood the demeanor of international movement. Dalits are at least politically conscious and have a sense of revolt. The tribals have a very disturbing reality. Smoothered by the left-wing Brahminic Maoists, who are on the mission to exterminate this indigenous population, and on the other hand, the police state, which is finding its most potent enemy as Adivasis. Followed by the RSS project of Hinduizing tribals, so that now they have, can add an ali, a, a gullible uh, mass of population infused with the propaganda machine into an army of mercenaries, the food soldiers. These outcasts will then be used to again instigate communal and caste riots in India. Brahmins in India are funny. They use the same people to attack on the same people. This is a very Machiavellian strategy. We cannot in our present times talk about India as a geographical space. It has to be expanded to the funnels of Brahminical tradition exported to the world via its mobile diaspora and check the fact and balances in the host country they are settled in. And if India is ever to be discerned as a specially bounded locale, then it is a fascist ghetto. Sorat Committee, a former UGC chairperson, University Grants Commission chairperson, his recommendations were not even followed when he was conducting his, 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 in, his inquiries in the AIMS suicide. Um, in the first, he was saying in the interview that he gave up because the faculties and the students were unwilling to con contribute in his, uh, in his inquiry. So he had to come up with, 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 a, with a new design, a model for people for, in order to gather the data. After suggesting the recommendations of the institutes, there was immediately a suicide the same next year. The report discovered shocking instances of faculty prejudice and discrimination. Marks are given according to students' castes. Practicals, for example, have a great share in deciding student percentile. Um, my own example, um, um, for my final year, uh, I was active in student politics. Um, uh, out of 100 marks, I was given 93 marks, 91 marks for my practicals. And this is a total discretion of the, fac of the faculties who have this right. Um, and, 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 and when the final results came out, uh, I was the third in the university rankings. And the second person, she had in practicals 96 marks. So she had five marks more than me. In total, she only had one marks more. So I missed being the first or second student of the university just because of this faculty prejudices that were performing and, 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 and intentionally uh, targeted uh, by, by, by selecting what they, uh, whom they want to promote in the, in the, in the, in the, uh, in the academic uh, scrutinies. Also, as a scholarship holder is no, is no pride. In fact, it should be pride because it is a selection. Not only the list students are given scholarship by state programs, you have to be selected on your merit. The dominant picture is presented as all Dalits getting scholarships. The jealousy and envy is presented as such. I can go with a few, few more examples, I'll, I'll limit. But in, in, the, in the overseas institutions, uh, the, 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 the Brahminical Marxist anthropology of the social historians from, uh, from, from, from India who work in, in, in a community and, 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 and produce uh, 
work about uh, it, it's it's the same to speak about in, in the Marxist term the fetishism of, of, of the of the of the ethnography um, very 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 little uh, is is done uh, to promote the same indigenous student groups if if if, if they have to be um, these ethnographies are 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 used uh, in getting tenure tracks heavy grants contracts for reputed press they do not or very little want to engage with the indigenous student who is desiring to study irrespective of the hurdles. They do not want to invest in the students. If they do, they would want to engage with students who study in Oxford institutes. The, rep the reproduction of elite remains core to the ideology. And Harvard is also an example. Uh, uh, when this incident happened, no Indian affiliated student group, to my knowledge, uh, in, in, in its support, kind of came together and, and, and decided to uh, uh, express solidarity. Uh, the house of, uh, for example, of Rohit, it's similar to, to mine and many others. We are crossing the Atlantics to present our works and, 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 and get recognized in the, in the international academia, but our house is still in the slums of outcasts, which are on the peripheries of the district headquarters, which has not bare minimum fac facilities. No one even acknowledges our triumphs or hardships, but continue to look down upon us. The procedural and behavioral dynamic is a pivot to the mess created by educational citadels of privileged castes. And, and, and in, in this scholarship, when Rohit was uh, not given the scholarship, this, this, is, this, is, this is the atrocious uh, system where intentional uh, 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 bureaucratic delays are, are imposed uh, by saying you don't have this document, you don't have that document. My scholarship, for example, sanctioned by the state, is pending since six months. They, they haven't. They haven't. So and, and, and every time uh, uh, you you asking uh, they a they want you to back them uh, and, and 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 b um, uh, for the same document uh, the the same request is been asked multiple times and this is not uh, unique to only scholarships you can go to any government departments and there are various ways to uh, delay this process um, so 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 this is how. Um, and, and if, you, if you read uh, the stories of, of Rohit's or, or even uh, N. Sukumar's story in this book by Satish Deshpande and Usha, um, it, it, it's similar to us. You, you, can, you can feel how the situation of a, of a Dalit or a tribal student being in the educational campuses is. So what could be done apart from just having discussions? Um, the life of a casteist, similar to that of a racist or a sexist, should be made unlivable so much so that if she is unwilling to bow and, and, and think about egalitarianism, there should not be an, and there should be a social ostracization on such racist and caste citizens. Active Dalit movement has to be initiated within the university spaces, especially overseas institutions. Past revolutions have shown us the educational corridors have inflicted generational change thought. Harvard and other concerned academics around the area should form a caste caucus to represent on the, on the issues of Dalits. One thing these institutions could do is to organize scholarships fellowships exclu exclusively targeting underrepresented Dalit and tribal groups in India. Similar, similar efforts have been done in the past and it's not a new uh, suggestion. Uh, during the colonial times uh, when the former colonies uh, and, 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 the, and, the, and the revolutionaries were offered scholarships in the overseas institutions, Africa for example, is, uh, and, and same with uh, during apartheid Africa, South Africa, uh, the, the, the revolutionaries were offered scholarships in, in, in MIT, in UMass, and, and, uh, and Sussex, and other institutions. Uh, this is the situation uh, where livelihood of, of Dalit and tribals is, is, is underrepresented and in, in, in a serious consequence. Um, similarly, there should be a strong statement released from the US based and other overseas institutions. Whenever partnerships or of that sort are made with Indian universities, performance of institutes in community building.